For which of these are all the occupied D subshells completely filled? A. Scandium B. Zirconium C. Manganese or D. Cadmium A D subshell consists of five orbitals. Pauli's exclusion principle says that a maximum of two electrons can be assigned to each orbital. Therefore, a D subshell is completely filled if it has 10 electrons. 5 times 2 equals 10. To answer this question, let's write the ground state electron configuration for these atoms. For scandium, this is the electron configuration. The only D orbital that is occupied is the 3D orbital, but it has only one electron. Therefore, the 3D subshell is not completely filled. For zirconium, this is the electron configuration. 2D subshells are occupied, the 3D and the 4D. The 3D subshell is completely filled with 10 electrons, but the 4D subshell only has 2 electrons. For manganese, this is the electron configuration. Here we have a half-filled 3D subshell. Finally, for cadmium, this is the electron configuration. Here we can see that 2D subshells are occupied, the 3D and the 4D, and both of these subshells are completely filled. The correct answer is therefore D, cadmium. We could have easily determined the answer to this question by referring to the periodic table. Notice that all of these elements are transition metals. The last entry in the electron configuration is a D subshell following a completely filled valence S subshell. This is a characteristic of all transition metals. That is why the transition metals are said to belong to the D block. When we write the electron configurations of transition metals, we find that the last entry for elements in group 3B or column 3 is D1. Recall that the last entry for scandium is 3D1. For column 4, which includes zirconium, it's D2. For column 5, it's D3. For column 6, it's D4. For column 7, which includes manganese, it's D5. For column 8, it's D6. For column 9, it's D7. For column 10, it's D8. For column 11, it's D9. And for column 12, it's D10. In other words, elements in column 12 have completely filled D subshells. You can see that cadmium belongs in this column. One final note, there are exceptions to the generalizations made here. In some cases, an electron is shifted from the valence S subshell into the D orbital. Notable exceptions are chromium, copper, niobium, molybdenum, ruthenium, and rhodium.